What's going on everybody? This is Bishop Brad coming to you on another pod review from a company by the name of Heavenly Harvest Farms. A down-home chili pepper company coming straight out of good old Tennessee, baby. Your chili company that will send you a box of all different kinds of varieties of peppers for you to enjoy, reviews, etc. They do everything from jellies and jams. They do everything from seeds. They do every they and, and what you're gonna want to do is contact them. I'll put their information right down here in the description from sauces to just your good old down home chili pepper company. It's always good to have access to a chili pepper company that will send you a box of pods, okay? So most importantly on this review, I'm coming to you on a pepper that I've actually never had before. And their peppers, they have everything from extremely hot to mild peppers, which is awesome. We get a great variety, and, and, I, and I'm doing today the Ecuadorian Devil's Breath. Now, it's different that I'm coming to you on a pod that has the word devil in it. Typically, I do my Texas Pepper Preacher, and I give you a good old darn exorcism because the Pepper Preacher always gets stuff sent to him by the devil. But on this one, I wanted to keep it real. The Ecuadorian Devil's Breath. Now, look at the size of this. I've never heard of an Ecuadorian Devil's Breath before. Um, I, I don't know much ab about it. I don't have much information. But it looks like it's a very prolific plant when it comes to being a, abundant when it comes to peppers. Because typically when you have peppers this small, you typically get a lot of them. So I've never seen it. Uh, the plant, I've never heard of it before. So what we're just going to do is just do a straight up test on it. And see how extremely hot the Ecuadorian devil's breath is. So here's what we're going to go ahead and do. Here it is. Look at this thing. That's a gorgeous looking red little pepper. So let's see what kind of punch this thing packs. If it has any punch at all. Alright, let's go ahead and roll. Red fruity flavor. Mmm, there it comes. Well, it doesn't have a strong capsaicin flavor in it at all. Now, almost the heat of a... Good lord, that is a good tasting pepper. <clears throat> Here comes the heat. <clears throat> the heat of a habanero. Good lord, that pepper was delicious. Mm. Not extremely hot. <clears throat> very much enjoyable. This is actually a very good pepper. It, it almost has the heat of of a serrano or a habanero. Maybe a hob. This is this is a habanero style of a pepper. This would be very enjoyable for salsas, eating in the raw with your dinners. Um, it's not extreme. Um, take a little sip here. Heat is accented on the tongue, a tad on the back of the throat. But what I picked up on was there was no blunt force trauma in it, which was wonderful. You got the full access of the flavor of that actual pepper, and I actually love that flavor of the Ecuadorian Devil's Breath. Ooh, that drink amplified it. Heat all accented on the tongue and around the tongue, underneath the tongue. The Ecuadorian, I got some Ecuadorian devil's breath right now, boy. I drink amplified it a little bit. That is a good pepper. That pepper's packing a punch. Not too extreme. Definitely the heat of a hot habanero. But I love the fact that there is no capsaicin flavor. That extreme capsaicin flavor, none of that was in the pepper. It was almost a sweetness in a way. 
but your typical fruity red. <sighs> but yeah, the heat's going to hit you all around your tongue. It's dying down. Had a little pedal to the metal there. It's calming down a little bit. Other than that, baby, the Ecuadorian Devil's Tongue. No, I said Ecuadorian Devil's Breath is what that is. Definitely different from the Devil's Tongue. Uh, but yeah, baby, y'all can check out Heavenly uh, Harvest Farms. And once again, I'm going to put their link right down here in the description. If you want to ask them to send you their selection of pods, please do. I just did two reviews for this company that would make great salsa and just enjoy on the raw in general with all your meals and, and from and definitely dehydrating these peppers and using them in like a salt blend would be excellent as well. Uh, but this is Bishop Brad, baby, coming to y'all from Heavenly Harvest Farms. Great job, uh, Mr. and Miss Tyler. And uh, I thank you for sending me what you sent me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed these three videos I've made for you. Uh, the others, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set aside because they're gonna go bad. I have a lot of pods coming in, and I want to use them for something really good and enjoyable. So uh, much love, man. This is Bishop Brad. I will see y'all on the next video. Y'all have a good one. Bye bye.